everyone, welcome back to the Clueless Dad. Today we're going to set up a free heightened three person sofa from IKEA. This particular one is the black fake leather one, costs about $600. Uh, this is actually the studio space that's going to become the studio space in my office. Uh, so because it's for an office space, I wanted something that's at least a little bit more professional looking. So I went for the leatherette type material. It actually comes in two boxes, you can see the two of them, and they're both pretty huge and they are not light. So just the front one uh, weighs like 50 something kilos, it's like 117 pounds. Uh, the back one, the label's on the bottom so I didn't even check, but basically it's super heavy, so be careful. Uh, you probably almost definitely want to have two people help you with this. Unfortunately, since I'm filming it for YouTube, I've got to do it by myself. So uh, anyway, that's enough talking. Let's demonstrate in time lapse and I'll also stop once in a while to explain things if necessary. Okay, ready, three, two, one, go. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all kinds of hardware in here. We've got angle brackets, We've got some plastic spacers, and obviously, since it's IKEA, a lot of Allen head bolts and nuts. And in this case, we have all kinds of sizes, short ones, long ones, uh, wood screws, because there's actually pieces of wood there. It's not all metal and plastic we're screwing into, so definitely very complicated. Um, as you can see, it always takes a while to unpack. I'm going to finish unpacking, then start assembling. You ready, set, whoop, three, two, one, go.
Okay, so here we are and it's basically done. As you can see, it is a sofa and it is now actually in the bed position. Uh, and the only thing left to do is this, which are the back cushions. So they come vacuum packed, it's in this like vacuum sealed bag. The only thing left to do is basically cut it open. It self inflates, which is always pretty cool to see, especially in time lapse. Uh, and then stuff it into the cushion covers uh, and there's three of them. And then it's basically done. So uh, I'm going to do that on camera here. Actually, the second one, the middle one, I guess, or whatever, one of them, uh, looks like it's already sprung a leak. It's not super vacuum packed. The other one is. So um, maybe we'll only see two. Uh, but anyway, that's basically it. I'm going to just finish up and then share some final thoughts at the end. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so here we are in the full sofa position. Not too bad. Took me about an hour and a half, give or take. I think if you had two people, you could probably do it in about an hour. Um, yeah, so it's not that bad. I use the electric driver, the actually IKEA uh, toolkit one. Not too bad. Helped in a few spots. There's definitely some that are too far in, which is why they have those really long Allen wrenches. One of the weird things about this design, one of the things that sort of baffles me is that uh, you actually take the two super long Allen wrenches and you use them to secure the two sides. It doesn't really secure the two sides, it just, I think it's a way for you to keep them, you know, together with this so that you don't lose it because basically it's such a specialized size. Um, and they figure, okay, well, if, we'll, if we're going to force you to stick it inside, we'll put it there out of the way. And it also basically helps keep these uh, two arms from coming off, I guess, if you lift it the wrong way, although they are shoved in pretty hard. So uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna shove it back into this corner so that we can use it for our studio space. And that's basically it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Definitely give us a thumbs up. Check out our other IKEA assembly videos. This is the first sofa we've done, but we've done bookshelves, we've done storage, we've done cribs, obviously, and some chairs and furniture and whatnot. So I have a whole playlist for that. I'll put it at the end. And if you guys have any other uh, feedback, please share. And definitely check back for the other studio prep uh, series videos that I am going to be doing uh, over the next couple weeks. So I've already done the shelves. I've got this. I've got some tables. I, and of course, I've actually got the studio equipment, the lights, the backdrop. I'll try to do a video on at least most of those. So check back for that. See you guys later. Bye.